All right, guys, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a rant here. As a vet tech, it's really difficult for me to see so many animals that are sold in places that shouldn't be selling them because they're not taking care of them properly. They give them off to these homes, and these people have no idea how to fix what the places have already messed up. Now, this is a little tiny yellow belly baby turtle that was bought recently at a flea market. Now, it was brought to me because it seemed sick, and it definitely is. If you can see already, his shell is already bending entirely. It should not be doing this at this point. Buying a little baby turtle from a flea market is not something you want to do, okay? This little guy already has what we call soft shell syndrome. This is something that happens to small aquatic turtles when they're young. And soft shell syndrome is essentially something that is just a nickname for metabolic bone disease. And metabolic bone disease is something very unfortunately common when people don't take care of their reptiles correctly. Now, turtles require a regular amount of calcium to be in their bloodstream. When there isn't enough, their body starts automatically taking it away from their bones and the bony structures like their shells. And when that happens, you start to get weakened bones. And a weakened skeletal structure means pain for everything else that is attached to it. Remember, your skeletal structure is literally the scaffolding for the rest of your organs to function. So when their skeleton and their, bo their bones, their shell, when everything is weak, it is painful for them to even move. Okay, that is what's happening to them. Now this is a little turtle that I am trying to treat here at home. Um, I consulted with the veterinarian that I work with and we are working on it, but more than likely it is already too far gone. It is something that probably can't even be saved anymore and all because it was not given proper care before someone even bought it. And this is a twofold problem. The first part is the food. If they're not getting the right amounts of nutrition, the right kinds of vitamins and minerals and calcium in their food, it's not going to get through the bloodstream correctly and they're going to start taking it from the bones. Now the other problem is that they require the UV light in order to metabolize the calcium and these other vitamins and minerals correctly so that it does go into the bloodstream right. If they don't have that, it's another problem and they're still going to get this soft shell syndrome or metabolic bone disease. So you need both things to properly take care of a young turtle so that it does not get this disease. It's very important that you take a look and care about where you purchase your animals from. You have to do your research. You have to do your research on these places and look really carefully.